Two, one, six. Oh, you have to do it! You have to do it! And it goes a little something like. to do a little vlog because I decided I want to go explore downtown Portland a little bit. So yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so I stopped at Ovation Tea and Coffee. My brother recommended it and I got the lavender matcha latte. Very good and very refreshing. Recommend trying it out. Now I just was like walking down the street and I found this really cute little park that has like water lilies and stuff. I just like walked around a little bit, got this drink, and now I'm gonna go to the like boulevard with the thrift stores. I think I'm gonna move parking just cause, I don't know. I'm not used to having to pay for parking cause in DC I don't have my car. And obviously in Maine, I mean, in like Portland and stuff, you have to pay for parking, but I've never had to do it before. So this is new for me. Can you imagine having a house that looks like this? This is very fancy. Everything looks perfect and it smells really good when you walk in. The anthropology and everything. Letting go of you was my one mistake. Counting every day. No, I'm not okay. I just want to be honest, I can't imagine ever having enough money to shop a place like that. But this really crochet top, $80. Okay, so I just got back to my car. It's now seven. And I did get a cute little outfit I'll show you real quick. So that was like my first time at a thrift store and I'm like really picky with clothing because, I don't know, clothes are really expensive and some people get clothes all the time and like I just don't know how they're affording it. I just, I don't get it. I also went into Free People, which I've never been to that store before. It's so nice. But the clothes there are so expensive. It'd be like my dream to get sponsored by a company like that and just get clothes. I can't even imagine. I want to be able to shop there because it was really cute clothes, but no way on a college budget. So I got this shirt. It's Banana Republic and it just has this like cute little bow, which is, oh, if you can see it. I have this cute little bow, which is very me. If anything, I feel like my style is inspired by like Jacqueline Kennedy. I love like that classic look. This is only $10.50. And then I got this skirt to go with it, which I don't have a lot of skirts, but I thought it'd be so cute. It was cute together with like a pair of flats or heels or something. Thought it'd be cute for class. 
$14 H&M. So I was really happy. I thought that was a cute outfit. I thought it was a good price for it. And yeah, that's what I found. And I guess there's more thrift stores on like the opposite side of the bridge or something. I went to the wrong one. But I don't really feel like shopping anymore. I'm not a huge person that likes shopping. It's just not as fun for me. I don't know. <laughs> so I, don't, I just don't really like spending money. There's this place I might go for dinner because after eight o'clock, you can get a margarita pizza for $6 and that sounds really good right now. So maybe I'll do that, but that means I have an hour. What will I do for an hour? All right, hey vlog. <laughs> it's Kirsten, I'm back with Nikita. So today is July 5th and we are exploring the Rose Garden. Oh, Nikita, I guess is too busy on his phone. <laughs> so um, yeah, we're at the Rose Garden in Portland and it's my first time here. It's very beautiful, there's roses everywhere. Kind of a, a touristy spot, so I'm gonna show you guys around, tell you if it's worth a visit. And that's basically it. Moon, I'm loving this view, not thinking about you. Stop and smell the roses. <laughs> they smell really good. <laughs> Currently, some weddings are held here. So, of all the flowers, me thinks a rose is best. William Shakespeare. Me too, William. Me too. Look at how pretty this is. I've never seen so many roses. So it's all set up by rows, and then the matching names are alphabetical, and you can see what type in rows, what type of rose it is. Even interesting names like Valentine's Day and Violet Dawn. We just saw these ones. And then it's broken up into sections. Well, I thought it might just be the name of an orange rose. I don't know. So we're like right. Oh, oh we're right here. Oh. Okay. If you wanted some quick facts, this rose garden was established in 1917. It's 4.5 acres, over 10,000 roses, and 600 varieties of roses. I didn't even know there was that many. So the more you know. Look at how pretty these are. And then here's an amphitheater. I was considering doing, you know, a little singing action or Please, magic tricks see. or something, you know, real crowd <laughs> pleaser. So, I don't know, maybe later. <laughs> okay, so we've been here for like 15 minutes and we've seen like the whole park. So, um, if you're gonna come here, don't expect it to take a long time. You don't need to reserve a parking spot for two hours unless yeah. you have little kids. Well, we're taking pictures, you know. Gotta get something for the gram. Obviously, you can't just like come to a place like this and not do that. Um, but it's kind of anticlimactic, if I'm being honest. <laughs> I was expecting more. I, I mean, if you sniff each rose, probably two hours. Sniff each rose. I mean, they smell all different. <laughs> I think it's it's pretty, but I, I wouldn't necessarily say it's worth like traveling a long time to get here. The city's known for it. For the 15 minutes, you can enjoy roses. Yeah. I think, I you know, I think it'd be good to like bring a book or something, a picnic. It'd be a great spot for a picnic or a photo shoot or something. But if you're looking for like a day trip, I wouldn't necessarily say this is the play for you. Don't forget, uh, we also have to pay for parking here and that's not cheap either because we're in Portland. Yeah, that's my little update. Oh, dog. All right, so we've just been taking pictures it's gorgeous here, but there really is not much to do. I scratched myself. <laughs> so it's an interesting thing. I'll show you. Reminder that roses have thorns and you will get scratched. <laughs> hey, 
there, little guy. Don't jump at us. Was not recorded. Oh come on! <laughs> you just say what are the odds? It's an odd yeah, wait. What are no? What are the odds you you try to touch it? Oh, one out of fifteen. All right, ready? One. Wait. Okay. Three, two, one. Okay. Two, one, six. Oh, you have to do it! You have to do it! Oh, are you kidding me, dude? You have to. No, it's not. I really hope you were recording that. I was. This never happened. I think my jumping scared it away. No, that's lame. <laughs> you lost, and now you have to do it. Well, now we have to sit here for another 20 minutes. Ooh, it's oh, in the tree. In the tree. <gasps> oh, it's back, it's back, it's back. Oh my god, it's coming back. It's scared of you! <laughs> oh no. How did I get this odds on? <laughs> so it's just like a tap, right? Yeah, a pet. Yes, it does. It counts. It counts, okay. <laughs> he followed through. I really hope you were recording this <laughs> yeah, I was. All right, so I just got home from the rose garden and now I'm just probably gonna wait for dinner. My brother's cooking something because I don't wanna cook. And um, I don't really know. I think I might just chill here. Maybe I'll go watch the sunset somewhere. I, I don't really know. How, whatever I'm feeling up to. I might go to the gym later, depending on how much time I have left. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Pretty much my amazing, fun life. <laughs> um, you know, just every day is, is, is an adventure. So, all right. I hope you guys all have a great day. Thanks so much for watching. Stay tuned for my next video. All right. Bye.